Hello, uh, I'm going to show you a very uh, basic method to make soap in house. Uh, this requires only three ingredients. Uh, first is the common salt uh, that we use in uh, our kitchen, um, which is here. Then we have sodium hydroxide, which uh, you can purchase from um, any laboratory chemical supplier. Uh, this is very cheap as well. It's like a 30 rupees a kilogram and Then you have any fatty um, uh, oil that you use in your kitchen like coconut oil or uh, Even uh, palm oil you can use that So we have just these three ingredients. I'm going to show you that how in 20 minutes you can uh, Make around say two soaps using all these three ingredients um, so first uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take uh, around uh, 50 to 100 ml of uh, 50 to 100 ml of uh, water and I'm going to uh, mix some sodium hydroxide into it around say 30 grams of sodium hydroxide so I'm going to show you uh, this will be around 7 to 8 just a bit more these are flakes so it needs some time for them to uh, dissolve into water so this would be around the amount that uh, that uh, would be enough for making two soaps uh, I hope uh, having having sodium hydroxide mixed in water uh, I will also require oil to be heated uh, into the in the pan so I will take around 50 milliliters of uh, uh, palm oil, uh, coconut oil. I'm sorry. Uh, I will directly uh, use this in the uh, in the pan here. So I will switch on the heat and uh, I'll, uh, I'll give it two minutes to get it uh, warm so that uh, the oil is not. Filter up. Okay, uh, now the pan is heated, so I would pour around 50 to 60 milliliters of oil into this. Maybe a bit more. Okay, and I'll uh, give the Oil some time to heat up. And uh, as the oil now is heated up. I would pour this uh, solution of sodium hydroxide into this you see the uh, foam coming up and uh, I'll some time to settle down <coughs> and uh, now you see that the mixture is now thickening up it also has a very uh, peculiar smell which uh, which is not very pleasant but uh, but we'll bear with that and now since the liquid is now thickened up uh, quite a bit 
what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add the salt into it. We'll require around 30 grams of salt. You see there is a uh, so very plastic kind of liquid. I'm going to add salt to make the water separate from the mixture. From the mixture. <coughs> Let's do that. We said it has a different texture and uh, that will be it that will separate the water out but not right now it will take around 15 minutes for it to cool down and separate the water out from this mixture so I'm going to just heat it up for 30 seconds and switch it off <coughs> if you wanted to make it a bit more softer or have a flavor you can add that liquid like neem or some softener to have it have it in your flavor but I'll just switch it off and show you in 10 minutes how it looks after separating the water out thank you hello now we are back to uh, seeing this soap as you see it has now solidified completely it has no water because of the low amount of oil I guess so we'll just start using this soap by taking a chunk out from here you see took out the soap and uh, the spit uh, uh, course here but I think it is going to give us good amount of uh, lubrication so I'll just show you in the um, tap So I switch on tap, I start rubbing this on my hand and it feels so slippery now. You see the see the froth and uh, it still feels warm because it's not completely cooled up but as you see that we can get uh, froth here and also the slippery property which is quite a characteristic to the soaps. You can also wash your clothes from this or uh, add uh, as I told earlier you could add a few additives like neem oil or something fragrant so that you get the soap there of the kind that you desire so that will be all I think um, you can prepare this whole soap uh, which cost you around uh, 40 rupees here and it is about the quantity of three to four soaps so it will be quite cheap, even your home you can make it in 30 minutes I guess. Thank you.